Widgets extend the functionality of the existing web part framework outside of the CMS Desk Design tab. They provide direct support for page personalization. This flexibility provides end users the control to customize the placement and appearance of widgets. Users with the appropriate rights can modify widget properties, their placement on the page, and add or remove widgets from the live site. In this video, we will look at how to modify a widget to expose additional properties to end users using the Kentico CMS5 sample corporate site. We'll start by logging in as Andrew Jones. Andy is a limited permissions user and provides a great example of how we can use widgets. Once I log in as Andy, if I take a look at the sample home page that Andy has, I can go ahead and add additional widgets into his web page. To add a widget, we're going to select the plus sign. We're then going to add the clock widget in. When I select OK, you'll see that the default widget only allows me to modify the title. If I save this, we can then see that it's been added to my page. The clock widget has additional properties and we may want to go ahead and expose those to the end user. We can do this by logging into CMS Site Manager and within CMS Site Manager we're going to go into Development and then we're going to select Widgets. This screen gives me access to all the widget properties available to all of the widgets in the system. Within here I can select the clock underneath General and then clock and you'll notice that I can select properties and within properties I can select any of the different properties that are currently available. For our example I really only want to expose the text so I can select the text and you'll notice that it gives me the ability to select the default value. If I want to display this I check display attribute in the editing form. Once I select this, I can say OK. We're going to sign out. Then we're going to sign back in as Andy. Once we log in as Andy, we're going to go back to his home page example. And you'll notice that within the clock, I can select the configuration object. Within the configuration object, I now have the text field exposed. So if I'm logged in as Andy and I wanted to modify this, I can look at the value. Well, it's currently blue. What if I want to change it to yellow? I can say yellow, then click OK. And once I apply this out, you'll notice that my clock background changes from blue to yellow. This concludes our example of how to modify a widget to expose additional properties.